Yeah, I want to go over an article, and uh, I'm going to actually put it in common sense perspective because, uh, you know, you can really blow this out of proportion to the max. And, um, well, it's there's, I mean, there's something to it. I'm not saying there isn't, but let me put it to you this way. Um, there's, I'm not going to show the source of the study, but it was basically almost 3,000 people that they checked for RFID chips, actually RFID chips on their body. And they found about one third of them had uh, RFID chips. Now, most of the locations of these chips, now this is according to, I'm not going to even show the link to the article, but I'm going to actually point out some other common sense things. And about um, talking, you know, just what I always stated before about going old school, if you're worried about this type of stuff. Um, but he says the most common location, according to this article, which I am not going <laughs> to point to where it is, but uh, and you could search on the internet and try to find it yourself. It probably will Google up or YouTube up or something, but I'm not going to put this out in a sensationalist way because um, sensationalism doesn't lead you to uh, constructive um, action if that's your desire not to be um, part of this stuff. So let me put it to you this way. Um, it looks like of the one-third that they showed to be RFID chipped on the body, most of the locations of the chips were in the dental work, which could be maybe a manufactured uh, tooth or something or part of a tooth that actually had the chip in it, not like the dentist actually deliberately planted the chip in there. Uh, it could be that, you know, anything that's manufactured today. I don't care what it is, you know, you buy it off the shelf, off of like any department store, they got chips in it. It's like an inventory tracking method. So, I mean, you know, we might, I just want to kind of like put it to you out that, put it to you this way too. But also like when you had artificial hips, artificial knees, there's a chip in there. Now, the question is, what could they do with that information? It Could it be used to locate people? I would think so. You know, actually what I suspect, well, I think it's not even, I think it's a little bit more than a suspicion, that there's technology that's far beyond what the average public knows about, and we get hints of it, but we don't realize how far the technology has gone. Now, I just want to say one thing that's very commonplace, where you, you pretty much always have a ch tracking chip on everybody, is your cell phone. Because, uh, first off, even if you can actually physically remove the battery from the cell phone, most people don't do that. They leave it on. Even if it's off, it may have a chip in it. There's, um, you know, the things that people use to go through the electronic e-pass on, on a turnpike. There could be other chips in there to locate you. Uh, your vehicles, uh, probably all the vehicles today manufactured. I would imagine if there's, you know, this is like the real conspiracy deal, whatever the hell it is, they probably do have chips in them. Now, um, also even the, um, you know, there could be something even on the, uh, in, in a, the physical tag that goes on the plate. Um, you know, with something, you know, a chip inside of there where you stick that little tag on your, lic on your uh, license plate that there may be a chip in there. I think the technology certainly exists, and I don't want to say that there is one in that, but it could be, it's not that unlikely that there's chips in cars and newer cars that have been manufactured. So I want to point to you, just point this out, because I know a lot of people disagree with, you know, I, I don't like it, okay, but you know, I take actual, like, I practice what I preach. I go old school all the way, for the most part, as much as I possibly can. And... What most people are doing is they're just getting into, like, even the people, either they're totally ignoring this and saying, oh, or if they're actually wide awake to this, they're just, like, going from one giddy rumor to another, and they're like, oh, the conspiracy, we got to fight it, and they're not, they're not actually doing anything. Actually, the real solution to this stuff is uh, probably just going more old school. You know, that's... You know, it's one reason I stick with the old cars, too. You know, that's another thing, too. That's another thing, too. But um, it's, it looks like, you know, according to this study, they checked almost 3,000 people. 
and they're showing like and I, I guess it makes sense though if they make a uh, a hip replacement or a knee replacement or maybe they're making something for the dental work that's a replacement tooth there's probably an inventory tracking system for all these devices just like you see inventory tracking systems all over the department stores right and but the thing is if you know that was implanted in somebody or it has a number or something like that I, you know I don't know how this information could actually be uh, centralized but um, in the future and actually I think it's by 2015 all credit cards are gonna have a chip in them they're actually using it in Europe so you know it's supposed to be a more secure method of transacting your money or whatever is making transactions with your money but you know I know a lot of people are talking about this deal I'm not, I'm not trying to downplay it but I'm, I'm just not trying to put this out in a sensationalist way because I know there's people out there that on YouTube that put this stuff out in sensationalist ways first off they're not offering anything as a positive solution and just by well, they're trying to scare. It's fear for profit. I'm not playing that game. I'm not playing that game. But the reality is, everybody's getting chipped one way or the other because of how this stuff is moving. It's like the credit card transactions is what you know. It's going to be credit cards are going to be all chipped by 2015. I you know I would imagine that there's going to be a locator on that. I know the cell phones have locators. I think the cars are chipped. Probably the newer newer stuff, especially. Um, and it looks like actually there's they've been showing that there's RFID chips actually in humans already in people I'll call it not humans I'll call them people um, that you know when they put a prosthetic device in their body the manufacturer already has a chip in it but does that mean it can locate you from satellite maybe I don't know and uh, but you know I have to state this I think the one thing that is probably not a giddy rumor that is solid although I can't really prove it prove it I can kind of allude to some things that is that the technology held by some people in secret that is not actually getting out to the, the public for the benefit of all people is probably a hell of a lot higher technology than people could imagine I think there's uh, there's a lot of things to indicate that they got other methods to energy that are much cheaper, much more efficient. You know, people could be having a great life, uh, uh, and there could be an, uh, basically, you know, there wouldn't be any uh, starvation or anything like that in the world. But you know, if you actually want to look at some of this stuff, I'll just kind of allude back to. Um, the George Guidestones, if I kind of do this from memory, I know they said that um, they want to keep the population at a below 500 million. If you're familiar with the Georgia Guidestones, but somebody put that up there in secret. You know, we don't know where the hell the uh, money came from. I'm talking about the secrecy. It was the source of funds, the 20 million dollars that was given to that project. Put up those Guidestones in those different languages back in 1980, I believe it was, near not far from Athens, Georgia. And the first one was to um, say keep humanity at a population of 500 million or or below in harmony with nature, and then it was also to guide number two. I think was something to do with guide the reproduction of humanity. And um, in other words, what I think is coming up is besides this, there's going to be an elite set of people that they have planned a world. That's going to be a smaller group of people because they need people to work for them. But they're going to um, basically use genetics and all this other type of stuff to make sure the best people get only get born. And they're going to control people through technology for their own gain. Like it's almost like... Uh, because they don't really need masses of people to produce the goods the way they plus what they figure because of the technology. I'm probably, you know, even though it sounds a little way out, I'm probably a little more accurate on this stuff than most people are throwing out really wild rumors on the internet. 
and I'm putting it out in a calm fashion. But, you know, the real thing to kind of throw a little curveball at some of this stuff is um, people that are like habitual consumers of garbage, <laughs> let me put it to you that way, uh, you might want to just go more to old school. The more old school you go, it's less likely or less that this techn technology can control people. Because I think that's really how they're going to really be playing this New World Order game and uh, whatever the hell else they got planned. Because it's not like uh, it's a conspiracy theory because it's pretty much... Well, it's written in stone in Georgia, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, is that a theory? Somebody put that up there. It cost them $20 million to put those marble monoliths up there. And some people, I know there's other people saying that it's uh, nothing to do with uh, conspiracy. It's in case there's a nuclear devastation in the world, that humanity will have some guidelines to go by. But I, I don't quite buy that. I don't quite buy that. So anyway, we just want to put this out here because it looks like um, a lot of people are focused in on, you know, the mark of the beast, and it's in your hand, it's in your forehead, and whatever the hell it is, right? Well, it, you pretty much you got it in your cell phone. You're gonna have it on your credit card if you're in Europe. You already got it on your credit card. You probably got it in your car. Car is electronic someplace. Uh, you may have it in your body even if you have um, some kind of uh, work done or something like that where you know you had to have a replacement knee or hip or you have a replacement tooth or something or whatever the hell it is that uh, actually they found they said most of the the majority maybe not most but the vast majority of RFID chips were actually found in dental work according to the article but you know, if you search on Google, you'll find it. I'm not going to post where I got this exactly from, but it's it looks like a very legit study. And um, but then again, you know, somebody could say, well, that just only has to do with tracking the product, so the product doesn't get stolen, and then it's not to track the individual. But maybe not. Maybe not. But I can already state that pretty much everybody has a charge card. And everybody, pretty much everybody has a cell phone. So far as like Western society, pretty much, you know, because charge cards will be chipped in the near future. <coughs> as far as any Western developed countries or, you know, in Japan or even, even the spreading in China where they're getting more developed, pretty much everybody is chipped in essence as it is, as it is. So how do you avoid that if you don't like that? Well, <laughs> let me put it to you this way: it's gonna you're gonna have to kind of go back to old school, and that's one thing I've been talking about. Anyway, I want to put this out here because I thought it was pretty interesting that uh, they did scan people, and they found that one third of the people they checked out of almost three thousand actually had RFID chips in their bodies that they could pick up. What that means, I don't know exactly, but I just want to try to give you what. The study itself said. <laughs>